Hello everybody, happy Monday evening. I am coming on to share a video tonight. I hope that you guys will give me thumbs up. You'll do some uh, likes, subscribing, and sharing. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome in. Uh, my name is Jill. I run a company called Jill Norwood Designs, and I work for um, several companies within our craft industry. I'm very blessed to be able to do that. And uh, tonight, I am coming on to share kind of an unexpected video. I'm trying to provide more content on my channel as I'm able. So today, I had a little bit of free time in the evening, and I decided I, I've been trying to get a card made for a wonderful hashtag by my friend Audrey and Veronica called Citrus Punch Mondays. So I did share the, their, some of their recent videos in my community tab. If you um, are on my channel and you scroll over to the community section of the channel, um, you'll see their videos shared. And uh, they're running this Citrus Punch Mondays hashtag uh, during the month of June. So I hope you'll play along, pull out all your citrus and fruit things and play along. And uh, I'm also uploading this for Two Crafters, One Designs, Ice Cream Week. So that's, of course, Mo Creations, Melissa, Gloria of Girlia's Cards, and Lisa of UCY and Mediva. And uh, they did ice cream this week, and next week is camera, okay? So I wanted to do participate in the ice cream. I love ice cream. I love gelato. I love making homemade ice cream um, different ways, even with cottage cheese, and experimenting with different ways of doing it so there's more protein and less sugar. Um, so it's just a lot of fun to do ice cream cards. So I'm going to dive in and show you the card that I created. It says, Happy Everything. And uh, you can see the citrus that I added. Um, I added uh, lime, lemons, and some grapefruit. And uh, I used some little flowers to accent with some little um, enamel dots. I did spray this card. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but I did spray it with the silver glitter dust to add shimmer. And uh, I only use either the silver or the iridescent of this particular product. It does come in gold, but the gold cans, I've bought it twice and both times after using it the first time, even though I tried to clean um, the sprayer, uh, it clogs and you're not able to use it. So I recommend the silver and the iridescent, not the gold. Um, so I did spray my card with that and I love how that looks. The sentiment is from this cute card pocket add-ons set from My Creative Time and that it's that happy everything sentiment right there. Um, so that's the sentiment that I used. And that adorable label set that you see is from her um, mason jar uh, label dies. Okay, so she has uh, various mason jar sets in her um in her store, My Creative Time does. This one has stamps, but it also is a set of labels. And uh, this is a really neat set. And I like to pull this out. There's label sets in here. And then there's also, um, you can emboss ball, mason, um, and care those words into your, um, as well as the word pint, into your jars. And then there's circle labels, as well as oval labels, and then these labels that I used. So I love this set, and again, it's called the Jar Label Dies and Stamps. So I use that. Uh, for my um, citruses, I use this set that's inside the Tall Mason Jar Die Set. So I use these two pieces to create my little half lime and half lemons, as well as um, my little, um, oh, what do you call that, grapefruit piece. So um, you can see how I have those tucked along the card there. And then I also added a, a full lemon slice to the back of the card. So it's always fun to decorate um, all three sides of your card. Um, my bowl, this bowl right here, is the medium size bowl from the bowl dies. So there's a small, medium, and a large bowl die um, sets in her shop. Okay, these came out in January of 2023, and I use the medium size bowl and the medium size scallop that comes with it. So I love how that turned out. And uh, in this cute little floral paper, and that floral paper is from the Dots, Flowers, and Solids set, and it's this orange floral right here. So I love this paper pad. And I also use this paper here from the Fun Birthday paper pad, and this is a diagonal gingham in a beautiful harvest gold color. So I use that to set off the, the background of the card. And then to make my little ice cream scoops, um, I use the snowball um, 
the snowball frame dies, and these are uneven circle dies that are perfect for making snowmen, snowballs, cookies, just anything that's circular where you want some uneven edges to it. And it comes both with a stitched version and a plain version. I use the plain version for my ice cream today. And, uh, and then uh, to make my little spoon, I of course used the medium teacup dies. And you saw me use these this past weekend when I shared the adorable um, teacup Christmas tags. And uh, I was doing a take on this tag that I did a number of years ago. So if you haven't seen that video, I do share um, cute little uh, tags made with these dies, both the smaller version and the larger version. Um, for my little greenery that's on the card, you can see I use the MCT 475 Christmas Greens, and I use this die right here to make my greenery, and I just added three pieces to sort of draw your eye through the card. The rule of three, you want to have three items, and uh, uh, uneven amounts of items are nice, okay, but anytime you do three, it sort of draws your eye. Um, and then I did the tiny flowers plate die to create my flowers and I used this piece and this piece and then I put a little um, gem in the center, a little uh, enamel dot. My background pieces are made with the XOXO border dies and uh, these are a staple in my craft room and I love that the edges of the dies are X's and O's. So you're sending hugs and kisses when you make a card with them. And then the eyelet doily dies, which I showed how to do um, buntings for the 4th of July with these dies on a video also um, this past week. So lots of content this week. If you haven't seen it, be sure to go, go back to my main channel um, page and just look at all the content because lots of new things have been uploaded. Um, and uh, so this card says, happy everything. I love the ice cream. It reminds me of having gelato in Italy. Um, when I was a little bit younger, I took a tour through Florence and Milan and all over Italy um, and the Greek islands. And uh, when I was in Florence and uh, Milan and stuff, we just stopped at every gelato place. Um, they make the best ice cream there uh, from scratch. And I love to make it from scratch myself. Uh, there's lots of ways you can do it. And there's lots of videos. One thing that's nice about the internet is you can look up how to do anything <laughs> and everybody has ideas on different recipes so it's so fun to explore and make ice cream different ways so I love how this turned out it looks like a delicious um, rainbow of sherbet or sorbet um, or gelato and uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing my card tonight I want to thank um both uh, Veronica and Audrey, as well as everyone that has participated, Lisa of UCY I'm a Diva, I think Gail Bakes Creates, uh, Gloria of Girlia's Cards made some things. So everybody that's participated in uh, Citrus Punch Mondays, and I hope that you guys will play along too. And also a shout out, of course, to Two Crafters One Design for their ice cream theme week. And of course, Saturday Morning Makes, I always leave my theme completely open to maker's choice so that people can play along no matter what they do, whether they're crocheting, knitting, embroidery, uh, paper crafting, scrapbooking, um, making journals, making mini albums, uh, making embellishments, making flowers. Uh, there's so many different types of crafts and it's so fun to see all the different things. My friend Brian, of course, does collage and he uses books, old books and found items. And uh, it's just so fun to see what everybody does. My friend Jana of Jana Stamps uh, is always, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, or she was, I'm not sure if she still is, but I think she is, and uh, and she always um, keeps me up to date on what's happening with Stampin' Up! Uh, so there's just so many um, fun things to hear about, and to follow along with, and to play along with, so I hope that you guys are all enjoying getting crafty, um, and that you're inspired by what I share here. If there's anything you would like me to share more of, please leave me a comment. Give me feedback. Um, I'm here to serve you, um, my subscribers, the people that watch my channel. And uh, if there's something you would like me to specifically do, especially for Christmas tags, let me know. I'm very excited to do some candy canes this year, more gingerbreads, more hot cocoa tags. Um, I will really want to do some mittens. I might do mittens next. I'm not sure. And of course, all the gingerbread stamps that I have in my stash from various makers like Diana Markham. And uh, I think I have some new ones from Ink and Splatter. 
Uh, so just lots of fun things. Whimsy Stamps has some neat gingerbreads. I bought them last year and I still haven't even colored them up. So I'm hoping to share lots of things, but if there's something specifically that you want to see, please let me know. Um, I want to thank all the women that have come before me that have taught me what I do now. Um, Jennifer McGuire and uh, Christine and the Christine Werners and every single person that's been a design team member at various companies over the years that I have watched and learned from. Betsy Veldman, who now runs the Greetery. Um, my sweet friend, uh, um, who is Lily Bean Mom on Instagram, uh, Melissa, uh, and everybody that was on that team, Pine and, uh, you know, Everyone that shared through Paper Tray Inc. and all the various companies. Uh, I remember Two Peas in a Bucket when uh, Christina was doing videos for them. And even back in the day, other people. Um, there's been so many things. Hero Arts, who's just a staple in the industry. I just want to thank everybody that came before me and give a shout out to Annette of Annette's Paper Bistro. Uh, Anna White, if you don't follow her, you should be following her channel. Um, Marilyn G is a force um, and is always sharing new things that she's trying. Um, I just enjoy all of you, everyone in this community, my friend Elise, my friend Rhonda, my friend Christy. Um, there's just so many people that do so many things. Carol, uh, my friend Nancy May. Uh, I know I'm not thinking of everybody, but each and every person is special to me. Each one of you that shares art. Um, I love the community. I'd love to give a shout out to Karen Brake to Lucinda and so many people that leave me comments, Linda, Lucille, uh, you know, there's lots of people that maybe they're not sharing art directly, Susie, um, but I get to see your comments and I know that you're following along and it touches my heart. So thank you everybody for sharing um, art with me, being part of this community. Um, each one of you has a beautiful heart to share and I'm so appreciative when I get to participate and share with all of you. So have a wonderful week. I'm working on the My Creative Time release and I took a little break tonight just to do a little ice cream card. Bye now. Choose joy.